Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and today you're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly as always but in a change from the usual videos I wanted to really just take a break from all of the boating and everything else kayaking and all the rest of it to just speak to you directly for a few minutes and really, as I've said in many videos before, just say thank you it's absolutely unbelievable all of the support that I have and how this YouTube channel has grown over this year. I mean, in 2014, we are now on to pass a million views just for that year alone, which is, it's so far beyond anything I could have ever imagined that it's, well, I, ju I just don't know what to say. So thank you all so much. And I know I say it all the time, but I really wanted to just say how much it really does mean to me. And to have all of the support of, I mean, over 100,000 views a month, it's it's just incredible. And when you consider that that's probably more than I had in the first entire three years combined of this YouTube channel, I hope that you can understand why I find it so incredible. And as I say, it's just, it's so humbling to know that, well, I I'm here stood on a boat in the middle of nowhere in Shropshire talking at this camera that there could be thousands of people tuning into it within the first day and week. It's it's just incredible. I hope that the lighting's all right. Um, but recently, one of the things that's been truly amazing is the amount of people who are recognising me just out and about, whether that's on the boat, in my hometown of Oswestry, or just walking down the towpath. It's 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 quite scary to know that there's that many people who now recognise me. And again, it's just incredible to be walking along the towpath and have people like shout and say, oh, hello, hello. And the amount of people recently that I've been shaking hands and taking photos with and all that sort of stuff. Because it's the sort of thing, it's just unbelievable. I mean, who would have ever imagined that little Dan Brown on his little boat Tilly would possibly be somebody who anybody even knew, yet alone would recognise in the street, which, I, that's really bizarre. I mean, as some of you will know, recently there's been an awful lot of people recognise me on the towpath, and a lot of people going past on boats, whether they're privately owned boats or holiday boats, and shouting hello and stuff about YouTube and that. I mean, it's, it's fascinating, so thank you very much. It's truly humbling. And I just wanted to let you know how much I truly appreciate it, especially for the people, like I say, who tune in regularly. There's people who've now been following my YouTube channel for years, which I, I just can't believe. So thank you very much. These are all the sorts of things that can make my voice go a bit wobbly and my eyes a little bit damp. Um, and certainly when I, when I pull stuff like this up and say to have a Facebook message sent to me from a complete stranger and say, oh, Dan, I fainted this. What's your address? I'll send it to you. I mean, I don't know if I can get that properly in shot there. Hopefully that's lined up. I mean, it's it's truly incredible to think that people are out there spending time doing such amazing things. So thank you very much, Graham Butler, for this. It's I mean, not only is it an amazing gesture and a, a truly humbling sort of makes you want to cry gesture, but I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a fantastic piece of art. So yes, I shall be uh, finding a home on one of the walls on board for this. And I mean, it's something like that. It's incredible. I mean, they've got a fly just zipped in and out there. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but well, I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Um, yeah, it's that sort of thing. I mean, it's just incredible. And the amount of people that get in touch. I mean, it's like, like I say, when I set up the uh, website, a sort of interest in life this year, at the very start of the year, there were people telling me to put a donate button on it and stuff like that. And I thought, well, it, it can't hurt, as much as I don't like the idea. And to have people who've actually used that button, it's it's unbelievable. And those are the sorts of things that really sort of, like I say, spur me on to really make these documentary episodes and make them more complex. Let's sit down and properly make, hopefully, what are enjoyable and much more informative, good videos. Um, so thank you for that. It's all of these gestures from every different kind and people who are uh, writing to me offering help with this, that and the other and do you want me to do this and I can do that. It's, it's incredible. So as I say, and as I've already said a million times in this video, thank you so much. As some of you may know, if, how it's been recently with people like having photos taken with me and stuff like that. It's, it's the sort of stuff, I mean, my family finds it hilarious and I just am completely bemused by it. But ultimately, I just wanted to speak to you and just say thank you because, as I say, without you, 
I mean, this YouTube channel would still exist, but I don't think that there would be half of the videos, and certainly not the, like the new Dan's Now About Life documentary series, without the support and the people who have been getting in contact and all the rest of it this year. I don't think that those longer, more complex, like, very high, uh, very sort of uh, labour-intensive editing processes of having, I mean, sometimes hundreds of clips that I've got to choose from and filmed over a couple of months. It's just amazing to be able to sit down and go, right then, yeah, I love YouTubing, I love doing these videos, and, well, if people are actually going to watch them, I can feel much better and have the motivation to sit down and make them the best that I possibly can. So, thank you very much. Um, I'll also say, I apologise now if everything's going to go a bit wobbly, notice the tea towel hanging up as a boat goes past. <laughs> I'll just say at the moment, uh, I think from now on going forwards, Narrowboat Video Day will be every Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to keep with the monthly cycle, I'm not sure whether it'll be like four weeks exactly or five weeks or maybe change for the Dan's Narrowboat Life documentary videos, but there'll be one of those each calendar month as everything's currently set up to work. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's so much that I want to say in this, and I've recorded this video goodness knows how many times already, and it ends up being a 15 minute long epic, so we'll ignore that. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm currently completely on track to keep up with one boat video a week. Hopefully, you'll continue to enjoy them. I've got a few different things in the pipeline. I mean, as some of you may have seen, I've finally upgraded to having a proper GoPro again so I can get some hopefully better kayak videos, better biking videos. I know there's a lot of people asking for biking and kayaking stuff. Amazingly, and this is incredible, um, I've been added to a few different boat groups on Facebook and a few different uh, notebook and filofax sort of groups as well. As I'm sure you're aware, I've got an awful lot of notebook videos on here. Some of you love them, some of you, my goodness me, hate them. <laughs> but even in one of these random notebook and journal sort of groups, I posted in there the other day and one of the comments came up of, oh, I'm so excited that Dan Brown's actually a part of this group. And it, it's stuff like that that's just... I mean, it's just bizarre, and I mean, people send me different things that they see of my name popping up places. It's it's terrifying, but it's truly humbling, and it's certainly motivational. So, as I say, it's I can't thank you all enough. So yeah, we're keeping with one boat video a month, a, a week rather. Uh, I will be stopping the podcast and removing the feed from iTunes because I just don't have the time to sit down and really do these. 20 minute long history documentary episodes basically which is a shame because I really do love it and you know, history podcasts are one of the first things that ever really took off on the internet back in I don't know 2010 I think it was and so it's a real shame that I can't keep up with that but there's just so much to do and so many people trying to get in touch these days as you may know I really struggle to even read some of the messages that I get these days because as I say You've got hundreds of mess hundreds of comments on YouTube a month. My personal Facebook account, just the Facebook account alone, is always on the 99 plus messages notification. Then there's the other messages folder from people that aren't friends with me on Facebook that send me messages. Then there's obviously the pages, and then there's Twitter, and ignoring the actual Twitter interactions and normal tweets just my actual inbox of messages on Twitter is normally hovering around the 200 messages area. Again, I mean, it's just incredible. So, as I say, thank you so much. Please don't take it personally if I can't get in touch with you personally and I don't respond to your messages. Uh, please, certainly, don't keep sending me more messages getting more and more angry until you delete me and generally don't like me anymore. It's nothing personal, and as I say, I really can't keep up and I struggle just to read all of the messages and comments that I get at the moment. So thank you so much, and I hope that I can keep posting videos that you'll enjoy. I'm currently looking at ways to try and uh, basically finance this to make it more of a sort of a substantial thing where I can maybe get proper cameras and things like that. I'm not a fan of going down the Kickstarter route and I'm not a fan. Like I say, it's amazing that people have donated and it's incredible. It really has helped out, certainly in motivational ways and obviously, well, the practical help of people donating. So I can thank you all so much for that. But 
I don't want to rely on things like that. I really want to be able to come up with something that I can give you back in exchange for some money that I can then use to, like, obviously make these videos bigger, better, and hopefully promote them and basically uh, ever expand the YouTube channel with more stuff. I've got an exciting little thing coming up with, uh, well, in the biking video area, but more on that later. Um, I've been playing with a few ideas. I was going to do a calendar this year, but I can't just, I just cannot get them printed cheap enough so that I can sell them on to you at a price that I would feel happy with. I could print them and sell them at outrageous prices, but I'm not about scalping people and I'm certainly not going to stand here and try and sell you all this, that, or the other because, as I'm sure you're aware, it's not what I'm about. So that's definitely been quite an interesting time recently where it's been, well, what can I do? And basically everything that I come up with is, yeah, that's not quite going to work. So hopefully I'll come up with something. There is now a cafe press store with t-shirts and those sorts of things. But again, I'll put a link in the description to that. I've just been playing around with it and made some very simple designs such as who is this Dan Brown and why does he keep talking about boats? Nice simple things like that, a little tongue in cheek. So maybe you'll enjoy those, maybe not, but again, it's the sort of thing, because of the way that Cafe Press is set up, they charge so much as the base price that I don't really want to go, oh yeah, buy all these t-shirts, because they're not the price that I would wish to sell them to you. I've put the minimum, um, I think it's about 10% uh, markup on it, so I take as little as possible and I sell them as cheaply as possible to you. Like I say, link in the description if you're interested, but again, I would rather try and come up with something like creative that I can give back to you. I've come up with a few different ideas of maybe a subscription-based um, thing to... I don't know, the website where I post like, I don't know, a 5,000 word article every month or something like that. And I don't know, maybe £2 a month as a fee. All of these different ideas have swum around, but I just don't know. I just really don't know what to do. But ultimately, don't worry about that. Let me think about that. And I'm keeping the videos coming. I'm keeping the website posts coming. It's slowed down a bit recently, I know, but I'm getting back on it. And like I say, I'm basically trying to keep everything going in an upward direction in terms of the video quality and keeping up with this rather... Uh, at the minute I've been posting a lot of videos, I know. I've, I'm really way up, I've just had a real shake of the boat there. I am really rambling in this video now, what are we... 12 and a half minutes, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Basically, thank you very much, it's a huge thing. You have just, over that last sort of five minutes, listened to the random thoughts going around in my head. Wow, we are all over the place at the moment. Um, so yes, basically, everything's good, and I can't thank you enough for all of the support so far. I'm hoping that I can keep living up to it, keep posting videos that you'll enjoy, and ultimately, I really just... It's beyond anything I ever imagined. The idea that there would be people who would recognise me, the idea that there would be people from all over Britain that would recognise me, and then stuff like this Saturday that's just gone, where I met up with a couple from California, and it, it's... I mean, it's beyond belief. Thank you very much. Hope that this video hasn't bored you. I can't apologise enough for that last day in few minutes where I was literally just going, oh yeah, and then I was thinking about this, oh, and then I was thinking about this. Until the next time, as always, feel free to subscribe, check out my other videos for my proper boat videos. Obviously, feel free to like the Facebook page, feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, if you so wish, please check out my books for the Kindle. The Narrowboat Lad, that's the first one, you might want to start with that, or you might want to go for the one that people seem to really be enjoying, which is the latest one, which is A Narrowboat in a Notebook. Only £1.53. Until the next time, have a fantastic day. Hope to see you. Uh, uh, hope to see you back here very soon. And of course, until the next time, keep it boat worthy. Have a fantastic day and farewell.